Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In our last episode, we set up AI limiters over there. We also did a bunch of research for hard drives, and the last one just finished. Uh, as I was waiting for that to finish, I started tearing apart the connections here for the two of the three products we needed for the space elevator. Uh, we are nearly there on the third one. But my box, my, my bags are full, rather. So I've been feeding random bits into the shredder over here. Anything that I have more than I really want after I've done this destruction, um, or deconstruction, I've just been feeding in um, more than a stack or two of anything, for sure. But even, like, some of these things, like, the, these things, I don't really need two stacks of those. Even these. This is all stuff that's on the belts, in the machines, uh, kind of miscellaneous bits and I'm just feeding them into the shredder uh, as fast as the belt will go which is only 60 but I, I could put a faster belt there but it's not that big of a deal we have 20 coupons plus I think 4 in, a, in the box so we have plenty of stuff to shred still and we're going to get a lot of coupons out of this I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff also so let's come here to the hard drive that's just finished researching at the MAM uh, um Excuse me, no point in the plastic spark plating because we just finished the last, basically the last thing for the space elevator. Uh, let's see, steamed copper sheets, those are definitely a good idea if we can make them. Uh, and then adhered iron plates would be three iron, what, so that's half of the normal iron per, per sheet. It's a little slower than normal though. And one rubber instead of 12 screws. I think I'll take the steamed iron sh or steam copper sheets rather. Um, we do have one copper node down there somewhere next to where the coal is. No, there. Um, so and there's water nearby, so we could set that up fairly easily. Okay. Um, I think it was quartz we were looking at. Oh, I should have kept some of those motors. Do I still have them in the box here, or did they get destroyed already? Uh, most of them got destroyed already. Well, we can go get some more. It's not a big deal. The base is not going to be doing much. Well, we also had Caterium. Uh, this one. Five minutes here. Three minutes there. We don't have those things yet. Those are what we're going to work on today. Those things we don't have yet. Those things we don't have yet. So let's do this for five minutes. We'll get smart splitters. Uh, it'll be good because I've never actually used them, so I don't know what they do. Those things there can go. You can go. Thank you. You can go. This can go. This, this, and this can all go. And where are we at on this research? 447. So we need a little bit more than 50 left. Um, I guess I could kick that up. No, that's not the one that was down clocked. Well, I think right now it's just a matter of waiting. We're making two smart plates a minute. We're consuming two smart plates a minute, so I'd have to kick them both up. Um, I could steal some of the motors here, though. I paused it for a second. I guess I could put those back in. And then we could do this other research here once that's done for the radio signal scanning. We also just about have the stuff for radar technology. Um, and I probably actually do. I haven't been over. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't been over to where the, uh, the which I'm called, it's being made. The quartz oscillators, crystal oscillators are being made. So we probably have the oscillators for this now. We have to wait for the research to finish anyway. Our slug's done. Nutrients done. My ceiling is done. All our pedals were long done. Caterium. We, we now we need to work on those high-speed connectors, right? Alien organisms done. And I have no more hard drives on me. I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm going to put some more junk in here. You guys. You guys. You guys. Probably you guys.
I probably will also put this another stack of heavy modular frames in here because we don't need that many of them. And getting the points right now, the tickets right now, is kind of nice. Especially because we have all this stuff that's not being used. Otherwise. Okay, so I'm going to head over here. Well, actually, wait a minute. We need 50 more. Or so. That's 15 rubber times 50. That's 2 motors times 50. Ah, we'll just feed whatever's left into the shredder. Let's head over there and look at setting up uh, high-speed connectors. At least one machine making them. Okay, merger goes here. It needs to be one away. Okay, so we want to have a uh, line. Then we'll have a splitter spacing here. And then I need to look at how those are made. Also, I want to, before I forget, I want to set us up, up a MAM right here. So that I can look at it and remember that I need to do something with it. I think those are made in a manufacturer. In some ways, it would be easier, more interesting if things that were made in... Yeah, we wanted to do this one. That was right. The silicon high-speed connectors, I think. Uh, so it's a little bit more Caterium, but it's no cable. Oh, no, it's less Caterium, and it's silica instead of cable. Makes two, three per minute versus this making 3.8. I think I'm fine with 3 per minute. So if we did this, we need 37.5 silica, which I think is going to be two constructors. Uh, we may need to set up more quick wire. I have not set that up yet. But I did look, double check, and we're actually making 100. So this over here isn't drawing, this one here isn't drawing, overdrawing us any as long as we're not using it anywhere else. Which I can't remember. Actually, I could remember if I looked. Because we can see the whole line now. Nice and clean here. And it's not even extended beyond this. So, we definitely are not using... We definitely are now just using the 100 per minute. And then this is going to use another 90 per minute. So we will need to set up more. But for now, at least, it's fine. Okay... That's one of those. I will just clone that instead of going into the menu again. Because I remember things. Uh, do you sit on the, the line or are you inside of the line? You're inside of the line. Okay, so there. One, two, three. Splitter goes up here kind of thing so these take three items which is good <coughs> excuse me quick wire silica and circuit board oh we need to bring the silica onto the bus and then the circuit boards are on the bus somewhere up there uh, maybe on the top no, that's quartz on the top. There's the third one from the top. I think. But it's in photo mode, so I can zoom in. Yeah, that's where they are. At least we, if we can see the ends of the belts, we can see what's on them. <laughs> kind of nice. Okay. Out we go. So, I think I'll set this one up similar to the way we set up this one. Uh, this has three items coming in. They're just going to come in right on their, right on the level they're on. Right, so, uh, Caterium is at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, so this is Oops, this one here. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then it was silica, which is at the top, or would be above the top, because we haven't gotten there yet. That should be there. Nope, that's in the center. I don't like how they don't snap to the inputs. That's weird, since you're not going to align a splitter to the center. Well, I guess it depends, but you're not likely to align the splitter to the center of the machine. I lost count. Let's see, that's 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... Oh boy, I lost count. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19... 20. And then it'll be 20... 1, 2, 3... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 19... 20... And then finally... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three. I think what I will do is I will delete all but the top two of each stack, just in case I need to realign the top one, like if I just messed it up or something. Because I don't want to leave all that iron and cable, uh, except that I did that one wrong. Start at the top. It's easier to be more precise down here, where I can see them. Then here. Excellent. And then I can do this. There. And... Okay. Let's see what the man is doing. Oh, it's done. Excellent. Smart splitters. Okay. And then I want to grab some... Wait, what happened to my... Oh, I know what happened to my motors. I used them to build a manufacturer. Now, those should be nearby here. Here? Yes. Take a whole stack because I'm going to use two whole stacks so that last little bit can be fed into here to make this thing. And I'll need to make more beacons for that one. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have... Those are AI limiters. Do I have a hunt? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go grab some more tactical cubes over here. Do I not have any? Huh. Did that break or is it just slow? It's just slow. give you some. Which means there are a ton that I just set up to shred. Let me go get some of those. Also, we can check on still 42 left. Well, it'll be probably the next episode before this is done. Not there. Here. Oh, it shredded everything already. Oh, well. Okay, we'll just do that other research then first. The one that takes five minutes. The shredder's fast. Nope, it's in quartz. Radio signal scanning. Okay. So, uh, now we want to set up... And 
do I want to make this drop? Probably not. We'll go this way. We'll bring that that uh, silica up here. Ooh, that wasn't smart. <laughs> here we go. I forgot it was quite so far. All right. Why? Thank you, thing. So silica needs to come up on this side. I have two assemblers making it. Actually, we only need one making it. That's fine. No. That was aligned incorrectly. We actually don't need this one. There. And there. So, can I get this here? Reasonably. I think I can. It'll go up on the back side of that. I think that'll be fine. So if I put this here, can I convince you to align it? Yes, I can. Okay, now we need to go up there. I guess it would have been useful to have a ladder of some sort or a jetpack. We have not made the jetpack yet. But I also probably need to figure out... I do need to figure out some sort of petroleum fuel. I don't know if it runs off of coke. I'm guessing it needs one of the liquid fuels. Whether that be a turbo fuel or just fuel. Okay, so you are here. Pop goes the weasel. Okay, that's uh, two. One. Zero. Oh, that's... Oh, we don't need these anyway. These are just fake anyway. Delete those. There it goes. Organization... Fence. There. Oh, that works. And that doesn't work. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Now, this one... Can I align you properly? That'll be the question. Maybe? What are you snapped to? Hey, it's kind of about, just about half on, half off. I think that's the same. If it is, that'll be pretty awesome. It is the same. But I should start it from up above. So let's extend this belt. Nope. Put a stack pull in first. And then we'll extend this belt. And then another stack pull here and here. Oh, I did this wrong again, didn't I? Yeah, I did. This needs to not be here yet. I need to have this here for a bit. So that I can put this, the splitter in. Except that. I don't remember how it was aligned. Is it centered? It is centered. Okay. Well, that's interesting. The power poles go into the foundation. That's new. Well, maybe not new, but new to me. Splitter goes here. Uh, in this direction, I guess. The input needs to be near me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, I hope. Yes, 23. Okay. Then you go onto there. Okay, I think it's right. I need to be able to delete. Careful. 23 splitters. Yes. Hope you didn't leave junk anywhere. No, there's not enough stuff in my inventory to hopefully have left a loot box. And I get this to snap properly. Right there. This one goes there, all the way up to, hey, it's not lined up right. Wait a minute. Did I miss a line? Something. I did. It goes there. I'm going to listen for the noise. Right there. Excellent. Then we need a belt here. And can I do this? I hear you. I can. Actually, that needs to be a Mark II belt. Uh, logistics, Mark II. Well, it doesn't... Yeah, I'll make it a Mark II belt. And then, nope, nope, nope. Lift, Mark II. Uh, oops. This would be a lift, Mark II. And this would be a conveyor, Mark II. It doesn't really need to be because these are making 37 and a half and we're only going to use 37 and a half times 2 and we're only going to use 37 and a half. But all I'll do is make it mark 2 all the way up to the bus and then mark 1 from there. Uh, that looks like it's working. I guess I need to have stack poles here and here. And a splitter here. There. And there. There we go. How's our space elevator doing? Thirty three more. How's our ma'am doing? This one's done. So what we have left that we can do is this radar technology, which means we need many more crystal oscillators, which we don't have anymore. Um, Terium, we need the things we're making right now. So the ma'am is done for now. We need to extend over the circuit boards and the new stuff, the silica. Get on top of here, just to use it as a ladder or a something or well or not. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. I hope. Was the right number? Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen at that mark. Three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three is silica. Excellent. Okay, back on top of this machine. Then we need to extend. No, we don't. We need to we need to split. From here. I'll just 
just put one down so I can see it. Why? I don't know why it's not snapping. But we'll go there. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, and 3. Start from the top, 23, uh, and then it's 21. can't see it. No. How about if I go over here where I can see the ends of the belts? This one here, which is 22, 21, 20. Twenty-one, twenty. And then this one needs to get replaced. Excellent. I think that's right. Problem is this is getting so tall that I can't really see. Yep, it looks right. Okay, so you go from here into there. It means you're good, so that one can go away. You go from here to there, and you go into there. That, and delete that. And then we need power here. On the grill. On the grill. On the grill. Right there. Oopsie. Can't run power lines with the laser sword. Everything moving? It is. Okay, good. We can delete all of these up to... Watching out for power cords. There. And then this one. And finally, these two. Oh, you gotta connect power to the power pole. So from the power pole to the machine, Wally. There we go. So. Yeah, this is going to take a minute to fill up. I have a metric ton of silica in that storage box that I have over there. Let me run back and hopefully bring that out. Maybe I can find a place to use it. Oh, I know where I can use it. How I can use it. I can set up a box down there, downstairs here, feeding it into that merger, and then at least it'll get used as fast as the, uh, the constructors are. Yeah, a little bit. Actually, you can keep hold of that for a minute. Let me look at this. Specifically the jetpack. We need rubber. Have everything else. Oh, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the circuit boards to be done a couple episodes ago and never did it. And then we need to look at also, and perhaps more importantly, the explorer. Which needs beacons, that's fine, but I have everything else. 
So, uh, I'm gonna make some beacons. I'm gonna go get some rubber. And of course, we have all the train stuff I would like to play with. Let me make the, was it 15 beacons? Yeah, 15 beacons. I wanted to make more than that anyway, because I'd like to have some in my inventory. So we'll make 20. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of not long after I woke up this morning, so... And it's kind of early-ish for me, so it's a sinusy kind of a cough here. So I'm assuming that the Explorer will run on most things. I actually don't know. Let me grab a stack of Coke. And that rubber, let's grab maybe two stacks of rubber because it's probably something I'm going to want to use. Looks like we're overdrawing our rubber a little bit. Um, let me go over he here, I think. Whoa, almost fell off the edge there. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I had some coal, too. So, it does have a workbench, a craft bench in it. As well as some storage. Which is good. Yes, it does. Oh boy, this is going to be fun for exploration now. I guess that's a good reason, the reason why it's called Explorer, but still. Uh, and then, let me build an equipment workshop here. This might have been useful to have had before I was building all that stuff a minute ago. But, let's look at that jetpack as well. 30 seconds to build. Oh, here's a spitter. Lovely. Came back. Nice. Just better. The rifle's super nice. <laughs> uh, jetpack. That's what we were doing. So the jetpack won't run on. Yeah, it needs liquid fuels. So it won't even run on. Oops. The, uh, the Coke, I don't think. No. It needs liquid fuels. Okay. So we're going to have to have some of that before we can have the jetpack. So I should probably look at setting some of that up. Um, no, I want this and those. I just deconstructed the car, which is fine, I think. Although I really didn't intend to, because I think the next episode is going to be an exploration episode. No, I don't want to drive it. I want to put fuel into it. There we go. Put the petroleum coke back in there. I'm going to leave it here. Um, I wonder if, I mean, we have a lot of crude oil sitting in the pipes. We also have a lot of waste fluids here sitting in the pipe. Let me look at a refinery real quick. See what we can make fuel out of. So we can make fuel out of crude oil directly, producing some of this polymer resin as a byproduct. Uh, we do we... Residual fuel, we could take heavy oil residue and make into residual fuel. 
that looks like it might not be a bad idea right now. At least to make a little bit of it. And want to package fuel. We have a package fuel recipe. Yes, we do. Uh, we could also put water into bottles and make this diluted package fuel. Could also make liquid biofuel and package it. I assume... Oh, it probably doesn't actually run off of this. The car would run off of this, but I don't think the jetpack would. Um, and then this is where some of this other stuff is made. We haven't looked at those yet because uh, we haven't looked at one of these machines in a while. Let's see. Packaging water and packaging oil. This makes polymer resin and heavy oil residue. I think maybe I'll just set like one refinery up making uh what was I going to make? Which one was I making? Heavy oil residue This one. Heavy oil residue into residual fuel. And then I'll just do the uh, package fuel recipe here to package it. And I'll just throw that into a, a box. And then we'll have fuel for the jetpack. Hello, big friend. And then maybe I'll do that down here in the other direction from, from this. Uh, yeah, that's a good place to do it here. So I think I'll set that up between now and the next episode. And then we can have some fuel for our adventures. And probably by the time that happens, I'll have made the last 19 of those, uh, whatever they're called, at the space elevator. And we can also uh, deconstruct that and uh, play with that next time. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.